Hi, I'm Don Carr, and today we're gonna get started with Travis picking in five steps. What exactly is Travis picking? Travis picking is a finger picking guitar style that uses steady alternating bass patterns played with your thumb and your fingers play melody notes and syncopated rhythms against it. Now this definition has evolved over time. Originally Travis picking referred specifically to the playing style of guitarist Merle Travis who made it really popular, more or less codified the vocabulary in the 1940s and 50s. Anyway, since it was a popular style, lots of people copied it, expanded it, integrated it into their own style, starting with none other than Chet Atkins, who spawned his own thumb style revolution. Now, needless to say, Travis Picking has a long lineage with lots of detours and rabbit holes to explore, but the point is the foundation of the style has found its way into all kinds of popular music over the last 70 plus years. It's an accompaniment style that has bass, melody, and chords, so it's great for backing up singers, soloists, or even making solo arrangements. It starts with a few basic concepts, and step one is bass does not stop. You play this alternating bass pattern with your thumb, or in my case, a flat pick. I will say that if you're okay with not using a flat pick, it'll be easier to use your thumb or a thumb pick like Merle, Chet, so many of the greats. Now, I've played this hybrid picking style for so long that it works fine for me. Choose whatever method works best for you. You see that I'm alternating these two notes, C and G, the root and fifth of a C chord, and I've been doing it for quite a while. It's important to try to get this second nature because step two adds another element to the bass pattern, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm going to add the E on the fourth string between every bass note. This steady alternating bass pattern is the foundation of Travis picking. Now Merle did this with his thumb and only used his index finger for everything else. His other three fingers were anchored to the top of the guitar. Well, to anchor or not, that is the question. Now with a flat pick, I don't really anchor per se partly because I use all of my fingers, but so many of the greats do anchor their fingers to the top of the guitar. Again, whatever feels comfortable to you. Okay, this seems like a good time to break my rule by stopping the bass so we can talk about picking hand position. Now, here's how it looks with a flat pick. If you're using your thumb, it might look like this. Make sure your thumb position leaves enough clearance for your fingers to strike the strings. You may have to stick your thumb out and turn your hand kind of like this to make it happen. I mean, do whatever feels comfortable and somewhat natural. Of course, there's going to be a learning curve and a bit of trial and error. As far as anchoring your hand is concerned, with a flat pick, you've kind of got a natural anchor. Your hand sort of rests against the bridge this way, right, just because of the uh, direction and the amount of space between the strings. Um, you could possibly rest your pinky. I don't. Now, without a flat pick, it's a whole different world. Uh, if you're using a thumb pick, you're gonna look more like this. This was the Merle thing. One finger here, thumb pick like this. Now, without a thumb pick, you've gotta curve your hand a little more so your hand can potentially get a little farther away. You also possibly got this thing. Experiment, find out what works for you. This hand position lets the strings ring freely, like a traditional finger pick style. Now one of the hallmarks of Travis style involves muting the bottom three strings like this. So if you want the muted bass sound, use this part of your palm. It's easier to do with a flat pick or a thumb pick than your thumb only, so if you want the muted sound, find the hand angle and position that's most comfortable and works for you based on your approach. Okay, back to it and on to step three. Let's add one finger. We're gonna play a C on the second string at the beginning of the pattern. Flat pickers, like me, use your ring finger. Thumb pickers, use your middle finger. Playing two notes together, like this, is commonly referred to as a pinch pattern. That's another Travisism. 
Now you have to listen to the volume of each note. Is the note played with your finger the right volume? It's easy to play the thumb louder, but you want to control the level of each part independently because sometimes this finger plays a melody that actually needs to be louder than the bass part. Really listen, take your time, play the pattern as slowly as you need to get in control of it. Step four adds a syncopated harmony note with your index finger, or for us flat pickers, your middle finger. Now it's the open G string, and it lands after the low G, and before the E that follows it, like this. Let me slow it down. Now this starts to get tricky because you've added another finger and a different rhythm. Keep it all nice and even, paying attention again to the volume level. Step five is an easy one. We're going to add another note with your ring finger or middle for the thumb pickers. It's the first string open E and it alternates with the C on the second string like this. Now we've got a fairly complex pattern going on here with lots of finger independence, syncopation, and it's all built on the alternating bass pattern. If you can play this one pattern, you can navigate to different chords, change up the pattern to fit what's needed musically. For example, moving to a chord with a root note on the sixth string like G. Now your bass pattern starts on the sixth string and goes six, four, five, four. Here it is in the pattern. When you encounter a quicker chord change, you may only have time to alternate between two notes instead of three, like this. You can also change up the syncopation. Now I'll move the open G a beat earlier and add another syncopated C with my ring finger. Experiment by changing things up and try learning some simple songs that use alternating bass patterns. Remember to keep the bass going, keep the rhythm even, and watch the volume level of each finger on your picking hand. I hope these five steps help you get started Travis picking. I'm going to leave you with a quick review of all five steps. Thanks for watching. Happy picking. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument pro audio needs.